We often wonder whether machines can be created rock, that think like humans. Rock. How could they replicate our messy vague thinking? Lots of scientists have tried to answer these questions, but one of the greatest pioneers is Lutfi Aliasgar Zadeh, the Muslim mathematician, computer scientist, electrical engineer, and artificial intelligence researcher. He was born in 1921 in Baku, Azerbaijan. He's the man who introduced the concept of fuzziness and made the field of artificial intelligence possible. Aged 10, he moved to Tehran with his father, an Iranian press reporter, and his Russian-born doctor mother. He was a very smart student, and by the age of 13, he had already constructed a motor that was described as simpler than the Vanko motor. He got his degree in electrical engineering from MIT, and then moved to Columbia University to work as an engineer. Zadeh then applied to Columbia University, and he was admitted as a doctoral student. They offered him an instructorship as well. Aged 28, he received his PhD in electrical engineering from Columbia University and became a full professor at the age of 36. One significant evening in July 1964, he was sitting alone in his parents' New York apartment. His dinner plans had been canceled, and it was there and then that he came up with his famous concept of a fuzzy set, published the following year. The way he first explained fuzzy sets, or fuzzy logic, was using the example of tall men. His idea is that in our mind, we can very well distinguish a tall man from a very tall man. Fuzzy logic gives us the ability to say not just tall, being value one, and not tall, being value zero, but also very tall, so that there's a set of different values side by side on a continuum. He himself was not very tall. After his fuzzy sets came fuzzy logic, elastic logic, fuzzy control, fuzzy semantics, fuzzy information, fuzzy systems, etc. The concepts that he had introduced were so relevant to applications in engineering that by the 1980s, engineers in Sendai, Japan, had incorporated fuzzy logic into the design of the city's new subway and its famously smooth stops and starts. The implementation of fuzziness in consumer electronics followed and found its way into cameras, washers and dryers, anti-skid braking systems, rice cookers, and even vacuum cleaners. During his lifetime, he also amassed other skills and awards. He was a founding member of the Eurasian Academy, received many awards, medals, and 14 honorary PhDs. He was a skilled tennis player and became known as a very good photographer who specialized in the genre of portrait, and his works cannot be classified as amateur. He has made portraits of many famous scientists and artists. He and his wife, Faye Zadeh, had two children. His wife wrote a book, My Life and Travels, with a father of fuzzy logic about their travels and experiences together. He is considered one of the most impressive thinkers of the current time and is remembered as someone who approached people of all races, religions, and countries. He was 96 when he passed away in 2017, and according to Google, he is one of the most cited scholars of all time with around 100,000 citations and had published more than 200 scientific papers. So don't be surprised if you come across a patent or application with the word fuzzy in it. There are now more than 33,000 of them. No other founder of a theory has ever had such a successful influence on the technological and industrial application of his theory.